Hey, good afternoon. Welcome to the fellow traveller. <coughs> sorry, fellow traveller save. Um, great start to the video. Um, this is episode twelve, I think. Yeah, twelve. And we're now going into the championship group stage of the season. So we've just got five games left against the other five teams in the top six, and we've got the cup as well. But I'm not so bothered about the cup. But we'll see. I mean, we had quite a dramatic game before, so we played two games in between. Um, this video and last video, uh, we played Crusaders in the Cup quarterfinal. We had um, maybe I should have recorded this, but I didn't think it would be this interesting a game. Um, <clears throat> it went down to penalties, and we won. And only Joe Gormley missed, um, who is the penalty taker of the team. <coughs> Sorry, hay fever season, as I said before in uh, previous videos and um, Joe Gormley has been on a very frustratingly middling run of form, I wouldn't even say middling because they're quite bad <coughs> hasn't scored in six games as well so yeah we might have to I don't know, think about dropping him but we're playing some really important games and there's no one that can really hold up to his level so yeah, we've got Linfield and Larne next, and we lost to Dungannon in a real shock uh, in the leagues before. A lot of players are just quite, kind of tapering out in form, and also we had, um, after the Crusaders game in the Cup, we had two players, Caseman and, um, is it, oh, what was his name, is it Murphy? No, oh, I didn't blame that game at all. But um, I normally prefer Darty, that's his name. Uh, not for Doherty to um, Max Brandt, but he couldn't play against Dungannon because I think he had too many yellow cards. It must have been from the Linfield game then, because I thought it was from the Crusaders. Oh, he kind of got a yellow card and then couldn't play. I remember now. Okay, okay. Um, so, yeah, so he couldn't play against Dungannon. And I think that's part of the reason why we lost. Brandt and Brogan aren't as good as. Well, Caseman's not very good, but we're still slightly better than Brogan. And Doherty is much more reliable than Brandt, a defensive a deep line playmaker. Cool, so yeah, I'm going to do these two games this time, and I'm probably going to skip these two, and then Crusaders and Dungan Swifts, and maybe the Cup Final if we get through to it, and if I care. Uh, I mean, we might get Linfield. I think it's unlikely we'll get Ballymena, so that could be a nice last game of the season, we'll see. <coughs> um, we had our youth intake. Uh, where is it? Yeah, and as a result of that, of that game as well, actually, we're very close, but yours and Linfield. I think we dropped some points recently as well. We had we drew against Linfield. I think we lost someone before then. So suddenly it's um, one point between us, and we're not in the best one of form either. So I'm a bit concerned because we're playing Linfield today. Uh, yeah, I was looking at the intake. That was it. Oh, where has it gone? I could just look at the youth team actually, because I think we might have. Um, Already gone through and hired or picked best players, youth candidates. These are the ones I haven't taken. So I'm just wondering for the really like. These are the two players who are. I've got great potential. Nathan Fitzhugh is a centre back. He's already got pretty good stats for our level. Um, yeah, he's a solid centre back. What was he? bit slow, good at tackling, pretty good in the air but not great in the air, good determination which is always a good sign for a young player and Jake Walsh is the uh, the winger we have who is interesting he is Italian, Irish and English, oh no sorry just Italian and Irish, I thought he was English, Italian and Irish, um, so super Catholic. Uh, <laughs> But he isn't um, Northern Irish, so he has to gain the nationality. But he doesn't doesn't affect. I don't think his um, his work permit and stuff. I don't think it would do actually. I hope not. Thinking about it, because he isn't. He's an EU citizen, but he's not a citizen of the United Kingdom. Um, but we'll probably be fine. Um, we might not even be here next season. But <coughs> but oh, it's reserves. But yeah, I was quite impressed. I think there's, those are two very solid youth players. Um, I think Fitzhugh particularly, they're excited about. But I was more excited about Jake Walsh. I'm not sure why. I guess we could have got a lot of good 
young centre backs in Baird and McKeown, whereas we're a bit light at attacking midfield right, so it'd be good to give him a few games. Uh, Chris Curran's getting old, Maguire's not very good. I was thinking about replacing at least one of them, so he could probably sneak a few games next season if we're still here. <coughs> yeah, so that brings us on to the Linfield game. Um, actually, I'm just going to pause and bring it up so you don't have to watch me go through a day or two. Excellent, so here we are for the um, the Linfield game. I think we're at home? Yes, yeah, Latitude's our home ground, I think. And. Yeah, just a quick rundown. So, a lot of players are playing pretty well, especially the deck and midfield players. Dermovic, Curran, and McKinney are all in good form. But we've got some less good. So, Fanning's in bad on the form, unfortunately. And he's probably our best player, so that's not good. And Gormley, it's also got a bad run of form. <coughs> and I was umming and ahhing before this game about whether to play both of them or one of them or neither of them but it's such a big game I think we kind of have to just power through and hope they do well <coughs> God, sorry my behaviour was really playing up today um, what else is there to talk about I mean this is, this is like probably the most important game of the season because if we beat Linfield now I'm just going to try and inspire Flanagan and Gormley. We had a, a team meeting as well. I said that, you know, I want to win the league this season. That's lot, the, the upcoming games are very important. And nearly all of the team responded well. Well, they're probably like 60%, actually, not all of them. But Flanagan was one of the ones that responded badly. So, I don't know, maybe the pressure's getting to him or something. But, um, hopefully this will help. Yes, it's the most important game of the season, I think, because it's only one point between us. And I find with these saves, maybe it speaks a lot to my managerial style. Actually, I'm going to go less positive. Um, I normally end up doing very well before the championship group, but when the championship group happens, I normally end up collapsing, or at least dropping significantly, and then winning the league if I had enough points or I'd even bank. Oh, it's a good pass to O'Connor. Someone close him down. Oh, McKinney. Oh, it's a beautiful pass to Gormley as well. Come on, Gormley, you got to finish it. I think that was a clear-cut chance, yeah. I think they might have... They might end up one of those games. Um, but yeah, so I normally like to come into the championship group with a few points in the bag ahead, sorry. Not one point, which is not really... Go on, McKinney, what are you going to do with that? Oh, Pass back. Oh. Oh, he's offside. It seemed like an odd goal. I had to look up to see if he'd scored or not. It really felt like it wasn't a goal. Oh, he's only just off? If he's actually off there. Oh, well. That's Chris Kane in case of a yellow card already. Hope he doesn't get sent off. Oh, fuck. Keep goal of the season as well. He must be one of the top goal scorers, Shane Lavery. I think we might lose this at the end of the season, which will be very frustrating. Yeah, and I think losing some of those players as well really changes it changes the season, especially because they're both playing slightly similar positions. Because right now, like if we're coming to this game with them both, I had the option of. Dropping uh, Demirovic into centre midfield instead of Flanagan, so resting Flanagan is in bad form. And then I might even have played Stephen Hill over Doherty and then brought Myrna on in attacking midfield because Demirovic is pulled back into centre midfield. But yeah, so that's quite frustrating. Um, come on, show me something else. And I'm going to give faith to the players that. Haven't responded very well to that. Not quite too well with that either. I'm just going to tell Ives and Gormley no pressure because they're both anxious. We might have to make some subs about 15 minutes in now. I'm just going to see how we start off. Yeah, it doesn't show maybe it does need to be close down sooner rather than later. There he is. Pose him down, pose him down. I don't think the effect's coming straight away. 
good shot in the end. Not lucky. Can't Flanagan. If he was saved by a Flanagan free kick. No. But uh, the season we've had, the amount of goals is called free kicks. Oh. Might have hit a Carl on them for a second. It's got no idea. Um, yeah, I'm going to make some subs after this highlight, I think, if we don't score. And if we do, I might still make them. It's a beautiful pass from Bontan. Okay, he's more of a cross. I mean, it wasn't the best cross, but also, like, he's terrible at crossing. He's got one for crossing. One. Wow. <laughs> Such a weird fullback, Chris Caseman. I think he plays at centre back. I just never have played him at centre back. He didn't play too badly, but it's just like we needed a right back. Not we've got enough centre backs. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking about bringing Donnelly on for eyes because I've seen play for a while. But at the same time, we need the attacking players to come on. We need to hope that some of these players score us goals. I might bring Donnelly on if I need to later on. If we're winning or drawing. Because right now we need to stay positive. So we need to attack and get a goal. More than anything, there's Maguire. I'm going to go attacking in a minute or two as well if we don't score now. They're, just, they're quite um, lethal. Linfield. So I don't want to um, lethal Linfield. Uh, I don't want to um, go too attacking because I think they're going to score another goal if we do, and I think they might score another goal anyway. Oh, fuck. Well, if we lose, this is not the end of the world. I mean, we can still pull it back, but we were relying on them to lose, and we kind of have to win every game. And a lot of our big players are in bad run of form. Oh, shit, we're losing 3 0. Hmm. Yeah, it's not quite what I expected. At this point, I think it might be safer just to go counter-attacking and hope we don't concede another goal. And Gormley's playing so badly. I'm going to bring off Leo Brown, I think. Yeah. Just because I don't need Leo, Leo Brown to have a game or two and play well because I sold my backup striker and he was the third choice. And... What was I going to say? Yeah, and no, we need to, we can get some form together if bloody Joe Gormley is going to continue getting six point twos, which is like his third in the last month. Um, I'm going to give him an absolute bollocking. Yeah, no one played particularly well. McKeown didn't play badly. He played kind of on the cusp of being good um, but I'm not gonna he didn't play well enough to deserve merit oh, no, I've got to play Lawn of all his players tired as well yeah we can't get out of his pain because he kind of deserves it yeah I did slam the fucking team <laughs> they deserved it cool this is going to be a few minutes of um, days in the middle of between the games so I'm just going to pause it because it would be easier you don't have to watch so much Okay, here we are back again for the game against Lawn at home. Oof, a burp. Um, yeah, so McKeown is suspended, so can't play him. Uh, so Baird's playing instead. I brought Leo Brown on, and we're just going to have to see how he does. And I have to hope. Actually, I'm going to tell Flan again that his form hasn't been good enough recently. <coughs> And I don't think anything else happened in between the games that was important. Uh, McKeon suspension was one of the things. And there was something else. Oh yeah, I had a meeting with the team and just stressed that not to feel too pressured for this game. Um, yeah, played better than last time. But yeah, so we um I told them not to have so much pressure this time. I think maybe maybe it was my mistake last game saying that it was a really important game. Um because the assistant manager suggested a meeting and I might not have read the details, but in this one they 
system manager definitely recommended having a meeting with them but stressing that the game is not the end of it uh, the be all and end all but it's just uh, we should try and play as if it's another game <laughs> just pass it back to him just a nice little one to I'm really hoping Flanagan picks himself up at the end of the season because wow it's an interesting pass but Fontaine got to it just oh Brown so close oh, I can't believe he didn't score from there though actually he probably should have scored he is young but we need to step up Yes, Flanagan. I thought he was going to fucking score, and I could see him running right towards the middle. <laughs> okay. I don't think Linfield and Crusaders are playing. I'm going to see. No, it's not there, you had it. It's there when the matches are. So next time there's a highlight, I'm going to add. I might go balance for now. Actually, I'm just going to pause. I don't want to make miss this corner. Uh, I like to have the latest scores up this point in the season this is quite useful oh, it's not. this is great viewing sorry guys um, but yeah here comes the corner that wasn't the best oh McMenon so close that's funny he's already got a goal and he was very close to assist then thank you aren't you back He's still quite young. I mean, he's an incredible player but for this league, but he's still quite young. Maybe the pressure's got to him. Because, I mean, he's the, the star player. There must be a attribute for that in there. Okay, go on, pass it to him. Maybe not. Oh, oh Levi Ives. That's a beautiful goal. He doesn't, he doesn't score many then, but he's got a few this season. He's quite an attacking wing back, so he often gets into those positions and it means that McMenamin often tucks in and then Hives is there as Nanti passes across for a well but it opens us up to counter attacks a few times ah oh, I saw that coming you know this kind of game three kicks of the game the goal can always score not um long I mean just in general when you're kind of dominant in a game like this you often concede free kicks oh my god the curve on that, wow. Yeah, Brown's not playing great, but he's not playing as bad as Gormley. Go on, Curran, whip it in. Oh, no, it's kind of a waste. Yeah, now they're going to, oh, no, no counter. Oh, that's a pass and half. Oh, but man, and then he should have finished that. Incredible pass from Demirovic though. I really thought he was going to do something less ambitious than that. Well. Okay. <coughs> um, yeah, still waiting for improvement. I'm going to tell Ive and Flanagan that I'm very happy with their performance. No fucking response. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to tell these three I'm not very happy with their performance. And I get to Leo Brown not happy with his performance either. He didn't respond either. Fuck's sake. Now uh, we've got the cup game in three days. Um, but I think I'll just rest Ives for that and let him knacker himself in this game. Again, I don't really care so much about it if we end up. Okay, I'm going to take Brown off. He's not playing very well. You know what, though? If you do it on the tactics tab. You get to give them a team tour. It really irritates me. Why? Like, I want to go a team tour. I do a quick sub. I don't have to do this tab every time. Maybe I'm missing something, but I might take current off as well. Yeah, Maguire for now. I want to rest someone, like a key player, just to not play quite so many games at the end. At some point, like Flanagan maybe, or Demirovic. Although Flanagan's playing really well this game, so maybe we should rest him. Um, just because the workload they're going to have at the last few weeks of the season it looks like it's two games a week every week so the chance of him getting injured are much higher yes Gormley's back in the scoring books I guess God, it's a nice big pass Donati punted it over to Ives <laughs> wow and then Ives beautiful cross and defender probably should have got to it but 
cool. I'm going to take Flanagan off. He's got a, a scuff or something. But uh, either way, we need to preserve him. We're going to have bigger games than what's left of this game. Yeah, he's off now. Cool. Oh, wow. That was a fucking atrocious pass. I think Mark's still come out of his heart like, with a an attack. Oh, no, it's a current cow for now. It's a beautiful pass from them. Fucking hell. I like this purple kit at Longwear. It's a bit like Fiorentina. That's Stephen Hill. He said in the news he was looking forward to playing against me again. Oh, that was close. But that's not what I'm looking for, Stephen. Never going to be able to forgive him. Sold out as well. Sold for the big money at Lawn. He was one of our youth players as well. It's really, what's really frustrating in like a financially as well is that I could definitely have sold him for five hundred grand or something. But he had a, a youth contract that wasn't protected. Oh man, Ives is having an incredible game. Is that another assist? Wow. But um. Yeah, I could have got a few hundred grand for him, probably a few hundred grand for Myrna as well, so probably near a million that we could have got. We got like 150, I think, in the end, maybe 200. So we lost like 800 grand on that. Very annoying. Okay, I really thought we were going to lose this game against Lawton. We've absolutely smashed them. So, here we get a fifth goal. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I often get kind of the red mist. It's probably the wrong expression. When it's like 4 1 up and we're dominating. I think I should try for a fifth goal or a sixth goal if it's five nil up or whatever. Now that's the pass you were looking for before, Brandt. Oh, it's a close from Demirovic. But no, no, I have to think about. It. I think if um, we don't win the league, I'll have to think about. No, I should say if we don't win the league, sorry. But if we do win the league, I'll have to think about if I want to stay or not. Because we've still got a lot of players that I like, like Flanagan and Demirovic, who's really come to his own towards the end of the season. But. Um, Losing those big youth players, and the, you, you've got some good youth players coming through, but they're much younger. I'm gonna give them a big praise for that. They're much younger, so there's a much further into the future that we're looking for those. And I could buy some old players. I'll just have to kind of think about it in a few weeks. Um, cool. We're back to oh, back top because we were a game ahead. <laughs> I got very excited then for a second. Um, fucking league table. Here we go. So yeah, so Linfield have got. Oh wow, didn't even see. Oh, they're in the relegation group, but they got into the championship group then. Linfield have got Lawn next, which I think they should win because Lawn seems to be the weakest team in the top six. Or oh, them or Glen Torrin. Uh, I can't believe they're in. Brandon have uh, fell down as well. But um, I don't know how bad Lawn have been this season. They've bought a lot of my players now as well. Maybe they'll improve, but. Yeah, that's fine again. The top, near top average rating. Yeah, so the last game, sorry, I've got distracted. The last game, the last video will be Crusaders and Dungan and Swifts, um, which will decide the season. I am kind of tempted to show Glentor and Glenavon. Um, yeah, we'll see. Well, there'll be two videos left for these four games, or there'll be one for the last two of the season, and maybe the cup final if we win. If we win the league I don't know I'll think about it um, but yeah thank you for watching um, please like the video and subscribe if you want to keep following and have a nice afternoon bye